Hello pool players all over the world. This is Howard Berger with another CTE aiming video called Another View. For those who haven't uh, touched base with, uh, with CTE, I'd recommend you uh, utilize some of the other videos. There's probably 10 out there just from me alone, and there's probably another 100 out there from other people. Check it out because you really have to understand the concept. But briefly, it's uh, the object ball is broken up into three areas. Uh, from in the left side of that stripe is, is 15 degrees the middle of the stripe is 30 degrees and the right side of that stripe is 45 degrees there's a 1 8 marker on both sides equal distance for very deep cuts the cue ball is generally hit center cue ball but when you're aiming you're aiming at one of those perceptions is the perception is the angle to the pocket but when you're aiming you're aiming from a half a tip offset on the cue ball and then aiming at those those areas 15 and then moving your stick over to center cue ball and then hitting it in this takes in this particular shot i'm looking at it as a 15 degree perception but you see what happens i'm hitting on that spot and it's going into the wrong area so here's a graphic on it and it just shows you how if you're incorrect on a perception it's just not going to go in uh, so what you do is you really have to kind of line up and uh, give a good guesstimate of the angle to the pocket and what perception it really is. Um, and you can experiment with these things if you knew. Uh, you know, you have to really just work it and see how you could establish perceptions. The, the cue ball and the object ball is lined up on the dots. Uh, and uh, it's pretty much straight up and down shot. So I'm going to be lining up uh, the cue ball from the half a tip offset in other words i'm like a half a tip aiming at the center of the stripe and then bringing my stick over to center cue ball and there you go right in there's a graphic on that now here's a here's a shot that uh I'm looking at it as a 45 degree uh, perception and you see it's an overcut so 45 doesn't work here there's an incorrect 45 over there and uh, it just shows you that's what happens when you when you kind of missed missed the boat on that side so you have to really look at it again it's 15 30 45 this looks like it's it you know look at the angle it's really not uh, straight but it's a slight angle so let's go with the 30 degree uh, shot which is B and you're going to be hitting it at the uh, at, at the center of the object well let's take a look what which one this is right in there's a shot right into the corner Now there is differences of sweeping from left to right. In other words, moving in from the left, left putting in the cue ball, bringing it from the left side or bringing it from the right side. And it can make a difference. So that's something you really have to work on. I don't do too much in this video on sweeping, but that's gonna come down the road. Uh, but this is something you gotta really understand that their sweep does make a difference. See, there's an overcut. If you use the wrong perception, like 45 degree, uh, you're going to get uh, off on the on the on the making that shot because you're just uh, overcutting. It's a wrong perception. So I'm lining up again. I want to try to shot one more time. Half a tip offset. Boom! Right in. So it was definitely a B, which is 30 percent, and you could hit 30 percent like that all all day long. It's really kind of basic when you start hitting these balls in because you're only aiming at the ball, you're not aiming from the, to the pocket. Now here's a shot, this shows you how sweeping makes a difference. It's the same shot before as a C, but the sweep is different. So look what happens. See, it comes down nice. So this shows you that if you're using a different sweeping, from, in other words, instead of from left to right, you do it from right to left, it, it just moves your hand a little bit over and uh, it just does definitely makes a difference CTE allows you to do some real nice cuts so if you're looking to uh, get some shots in that you probably wouldn't really get um, this is uh, it makes it easier because it's like you're just pivoting to make the shot and so I'm aiming at the 1 8 marker from the offset and just pivoting my cue to 
to center. And there you are. So it's, uh, like I said, since you're so close to the ball, it allows you a little bit more latitude. And uh, I've been making a lot more shots, uh, especially difficult shots. This is a basic kind of a shot in the corner. You're hitting at the 1 8th marker. It's parallel, just a little few inches from the uh, from the dot. And you're hitting 1 8th, one line visual. Now let's say you're playing a straight pool or even an eight ball game. Maybe leave the all the balls are the same color, stripes, solids, and you want to make the eight, and it's all blocked up. So the only way you can do it is to uh, really just cut it right in. And if you look at the one eighth marker, you aim for that from the offset, move it over to the center cue ball, hitting that one eighth, which is almost close to the edge of that eight, and boom, you're in. There's a graphic on it. These shots do, do take practice because you're really kind of, you know, you're hitting a certain part of the ball. But once you start lining up and get used to the pivoting, you could do it. Now, you could take the same ball, same spot, and you could bank that, that ball utilizing the same method. Now, this is a 1 8 uh, hit, but if you sweep differently, you could bank it. This will show you how to do that. Sweeping does make a difference. I'm fully, I missed the ball because I hit it a little too hard. As you know, banks uh, and speed is inherently together, so you really have to understand um, speed makes the difference. I'm going to try it again, a little bit slower, and it goes right in. Unfortunately, the camera didn't show it, but didn't move it in, and this is the graphic on it. Banks is not a big thing for me, but if you... Uh, no CTE a little bit and you want to study it um, just keep on working on the banks there's another shot same shot right in this is a three-way and uh, these things work you're gonna gonna get a grasp on it uh, and try different different uh, perceptions hitting the ball differently and uh, you could do some nice things with this stuff here's a nice cut to the side using the 1 8 and here's another bank. I'm hitting the 14 ball at the 45 degree spot. I'm pivoting, it's a one line visual, but I'm pivoting over, aiming for that C or 45 degree, and then bringing my stick over to center cue ball. All it is a little heft to pivot. Boom. All right, so here's a series of shots. Um, Utilizing and these are pretty much straight up shots, but they're still you know kind of difficult. You're just utilizing hitting the 15 degree spot, and um, and once you line up that 15 degree marker, you can keep on hitting these in all day long, and it's not that difficult since you're just really pivoting over your cue. You're aiming at you're aiming at the or from the offset you're aiming at the A, and then pivoting to center. And all the shots are relatively the same. This looks like now it's like getting into a B uh, area. You see, it's a little bit different on the cut. Uh, I think the camera was moved over a little bit, and you can see these are a little bit almost straight shots. Straight shots. If it's straight, definitely dead on straight, you can still use A because there's a latitude. That one got a little wobbled there, but uh, generally you could you could just keep on sh shooting these in one after the other. Uh, if you're straight ahead, it's you could utilize A. And even B. But these shots are kind of makeable uh, since you're just, uh, you're really not considering what the pocket looks like. Now, here we go at a C. So I'm aiming at a 45 degree spot. And uh, what I'll do is just, again, from the offset, half tip offset, aiming at, it's a one line visual aiming at the 45 degree marker. There you go. Just a little better angle here. So all I do is I'm lining it up, half tip, C, bring it to center, boom. There you go. CT does allow you a little, uh, like I said, 
it's since since you're not really considering the, like the I don't really care where the pocket is I'm aiming at the ball and that gives me a little bit of latitude so here I am I'm gonna aim at that C and it's in but if I didn't want to aim at the C let's say I wanted to do it someplace else I can do the same thing and make the adjustment so for instance I'm over here I can play in the corner but I really don't want to play it in the left I want to play it in the right corner I just make the adjustment this time I go for the A and there you are different pivots allow you different areas so the deck shot could even be a 15 percent 15 degree cut but uh, you you really have to kind of like I said we have to work on that uh, independently but the shot is is right in the graphic there you want to try it uh, just keep on working you could try different uh, uh, you know pivoting actions straight up shot this is this is considered uh, 45 degree straight up nice angle it looks, it looks a little more uh, deep in, in this picture I think it was uh, 45 I'm pretty sure and this is the same thing but you know you gotta experiment if it, if it could be a one eighth if, it, if your angle is really steep like it's 60 percent 60 degrees or more you know 60 75 80 whatever then you really have to work with on the edge of that ball so you blocked off the eight camp bank so you have to pre pretty much bring it up so you just take that spot and and same thing one line visual pivot over and you're in Well, I welcome the support that you guys give me. Uh, we've got a half a million views and growing. So see you in the next one.